Welcome to Coffee with Paul, where your city manager talks about topics that are important to you. All right, welcome back to another Coffee with Paul. Today with me we have our newest assistant chief, Joe Fischbacher, here today. You've been with us for about a year now, and I hear we've got some new things going on at the police department. Can you help our citizens here in Brookings know more about the opportunities we have? Uh, we just started um, an online reporting system that's on the city website. Uh, if you go on the city website, go under the police section, you'll see uh, kind of like cop lights on there. It says online reporting. There's a bunch of links on there. You can uh, do certain reports. It's not everything. There's certain criteria you have to go through um, to do a report. And that's also on there too. But um, should be a more streamlined way for us to uh, get things done for the public. Wonderful. So Joe, help me understand and the people at home understand, what should and shouldn't this new service be used for? Um, this new service, if you go online, there there's uh, several tabs, and I've printed some of the stuff out here, but um, it's kind of limited to what they can report. Um, you'll get up, you'll get like a front page, and it'll explain a little bit more in detail as far as what you can and can't do. But the links that you have initially, um, a harassment, uh, lost property, vandalism, vehicle vandalism, theft from a car, um, hit and run, um, that's for private property, because um, public and private are, are obviously different situations there. And even some auto accidents that happen on private property can report it, be reported on there too. So um, there's dollar amounts for the theft that has to be a certain amount that you can use this service for, and that's all on, on uh, the link there. So. Okay. So I, I assume we'd probably tell the residents at home if it's a real emergency, make sure you call 911. But these are for those incidents where maybe uh, you know your garden gnome got stolen yep. and you want to report it later just for insurance purposes. Mm -hmm. um, the way I understand it, people can submit these reports 24-7 and then it automatically goes to a few people there at the police department. They then determine whether or not uh, and to what extent they investigate and follow back up on. Joe, is there anything else we should tell the people about this uh, this new service? Um, obviously, it is new, um, so we're kind of working out the glitches here and there too as well. Um, but there is only a certain few people that see it, and what happens when you submit the report, um, you'll get a case number. Um, there'll be information on that report. Um, myself and my patrol lieutenant to review and approve them. Um, if there's more information that's needed, um, we will message you back with that information saying what we might need. Like we need a better description of the garden gnome that was mm -hmm. stolen. What does it look like? How big? That kind of stuff. Or if you have pictures of it, you can submit pictures on um, that link too of what was stolen, um, the damage that might happen to your car, that kind of stuff. If it's deemed necessary, then we will um, have officers follow up with you, um, give you a call or stop at your house, that kind of thing. So it's just kind of a more, it, 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 you know, came out obviously because of how our environment has changed, um, which is not getting better. But um, with the COVID and everything going on, a lot of departments are trying to figure out different ways to still um, make things easy for their public. And this is one of the ways we uh, started doing things, and um, we'll see how it goes. That's great. I know this last year we really embarked on many opportunities to reach citizens on very different platforms, from Engage Brookings now to this as well. Joe, any other thoughts you'd like to leave with the public? No, um, it's all self-explanatory. Uh, I would go to the city website first under our police section because it's got everything laid out there um, as far as criteria. Um, one of the things I probably should mention, which is also on there, um, as Paul had said, this is not for an emergency call. I want one if you need to. Um, you have to be at least 18 um, to, to fill this out. Uh, it's got to happen in the city of Brookings, so it's not um, for the county at this point in time. Um, it's just for city limits. Um, if you don't know who the suspects are, um, that's what this would be recommended for you to do. Um, and that's kind of the thing, is, once again, Paul said, as far as like a garden home or something, just for, we probably won't find out who took that. Um, but at least you have a report for insurance and what you need to do. Um, we don't have to collect any evidence. Um, evidence could be a variety of things, but if it's, you know, somebody punched the whole uh, window out of your car on the way home from downtown last night, um, we're not going to collect that glass, obviously, but you can report that on this site. So. Um, it can occur on a state highway or on the interstate. <clears throat> you know, part of that is within city limits. Um, okay, and make sure you have a valid email address and, and contact information on um, there so obviously we can get back a hold of, uh, of you if we need to. So, yeah, and hopefully it'll, it'll help streamline things and make our job easier and the public's job easier getting information to us. And, yeah. Well, thanks, Joe, for joining us today. And for those people at home that have more questions on the service, I encourage you to go out there and contact Joe. His information is located on 
this uh, video. Um, and if you have additional questions or would like to see how this works, go to our, our webpage. Um, seek out the police department's website, which will also be located within this video, and check out the Cop Logic. Once again, just another opportunity for us to connect with our citizens 24-7. Once again, thank you for joining us today with Coffee with Paul. Look forward to the next episode. Take care.